Let's take a look at the new Shapeshift product for Genesis 9 by Zevo, coming up. Hello everyone, I'm Jay and on this channel we're helping you become better 3D artists with Das Studio. Today I'm going to have a look at the new Shapeshift product by Zevo. Zevo's been having these products with previous figure generations and now we're having this same thing on Genesis 9, which is really, really exciting. My venerable assistant today is the wonderful Michael9. How you doing, buddy? You're not going to find any user-facing files in your product library after installing Shapeshift. So it's not like the post converter where you can click an actual product icon and go in there. We don't have that with Shapeshift. And that's because everything that comes with the product is a morph dial that lets you shape parts of your figure, much like the Essential Shapes Bundle from Daz, that lets you apply many little tweaks and twists to your characters to really make them your own. I'll show you where they are. So with your Genesis figure selected and with the product installed, head over to the Parameters tab and then head over to Actor and then you type in SS at the top here in the search field. And then you find essentially anything that has the letters SS in there. And those that start with SS, they are the dials that come with this product. So you can have arm flap here and arm length, arm size. And Zevo's color-coded all these things. So you've got the back depth and back rotate. We're going to have a look at some of them but you also have some sliders that are actually not part of the product and that is just something that you're going to have to look through and figure out what's part of the product and what's just something that you know has fullness spelled with double s here I'll show you a small trick here. Once you know what comes as part of the product, which is also mentioned on the product page, by the way, there's a huge list of what dials come with this product. Let's stick with this here, SS1, big toe length, index toe length, and so forth. If you're thinking, hey, I want to adjust the toes of my character, and I want to use these shapeshift dials for that, there's a funky little trick that you can use in the search field. If you type in SS followed by toe, you'll see that, well, nothing is in the list. But if you put an asterisk in between, then the database will know what to filter out. So it's going to go and search for anything that starts with SS. Then the asterisk indicates we don't care, followed by something about Tor. And then it filters out these five things here. And that is how you can look for pretty much anything in the parameters tab, which is a really important tab to have open at all times. So let me show you what this does. If I go and zoom in on Michael's feet here, Let's play with the toes here, just as an example to give you an idea of how fine-grained that is. So you have the big toe length, that is what this does here, make the big toes longer, and then Alt, left click on a slider will put that back into the zero position. You can also make them smaller by dialing them into the negative here. Or then there's the index toe length, that's this toe here. I didn't even know what it was called, index toe, very good to know. Mid toe length, isn't that fun? So much stuff you can do here, little toe length, bigger or smaller. That's the kind of thing you can do with Shapeshift. <laughs> very, very cool. I'm just going to go back to SS and see what is arm flap all about. Oh yeah, that's the flap coming out. I get you. I get you, buddy. Then there's the arm length. So something that you couldn't do with the regular Essential Shapes bundle. If you needed your character to have longer or slightly shorter arms, now you can do that. Arm size. Also, if you needed the arms to be a little bit bigger, you can do that. Arms muscular. Put some muscle tissue just on the arms. Wrist thickness. That's exciting. Those are the wrists here. There we go. And the point of products like these is that you can literally build your dream character without using any other products. You have so much control that lets you use these things right inside Das Studio without the need to bring figures out into a modeling application like ZBrush. Look at that. That's very cool. Back rotation, back smooth. Oh, that's probably best seen from here, from the back. Make the back a bit smoother. So much fun! Back, up, down, if you needed some adjustment there. Lats adjust. Shoulder blades, yes. And there's the spine. Look at that. Bring it out, collapse it a little bit. Let's go further to ribcage here. That's the yellow section, ribcage definition. Oh yes, good stuff. Ripcage size, also good to use these color-coded things in conjunction with one another. Sternum height, twice. We've already talked about the toes. There's also the feet width, if you needed wider feet. And remember that any follower clothing that you have attached to this will usually follow this within reason. Flat undersize here, if you wanted to give them flatter feet. Heel ball size. 
You learn a lot about anatomy when you go through all these things. That's this thing here, heel ball. There's nothing quite like seeing a product in action, I gotta say. There's also one for average proportions adjust and width adjust. So if you wanted a character to be just slightly wider or slightly, you know, slimmer, so to say, slimmer from the other side, that can be done. Neck depth, let's have a look at that. So a ton of stuff to play around with. And it's like with all these sliders, so you really need to know what each of them do, and then you go and search for them and play around and see this if this is something that you want to change about your figures here. Traps shape. Oh yeah, that's the traps. I like it. Groin size, glutes crease, we have it all. My goodness. Glutes crease sharpness, look at that. The amount of fine grain control that you have. Woohoo. I think my favorite actually was the belly morphs. And there's so many of them, I won't be able to show you all of them. But if I say SS asterisk belly, there's a few good ones that you can see here, like belly diameter. This makes more sense if you go and have a look at the belly size option. Make him a little fatter, give him a little beer belly. Belly under bulge, so you can be very fine-grained with what you dial in here. This is a good one, two fat morphs. <laughs> very nice, in conjunction with one another. Tons of fun. There's also a pregnant morph as well. So once again, SS asterisk pregnant. Then you have the belly shape pregnant. That might not work so well for Michael, but you know, it'll be great for Victoria if she's expecting. Then you know, you can you can do that thigh inflate. Look at that. Inner thigh adjustment. <laughs> Two of them. My goodness. There's so many of them. Outer thigh. So you can really, really go to town. And of course, this product works with both male as well as female characters ankles calves shin bone abdomen depth let's have a look at that abdomen you can adjust that it is unbelievable the amount of fine grain control you have so this is awesome that if you don't have zbrush or you don't have experience with zbrush you can just use these to to shape your custom characters and you do it all inside that studio Wonderful. Have a look through the list on the product page and see if this is something that interests you. These are great here. Torso muscular. Fantastic. Torso depth as well. If you just want to adjust the size of the torso, make that midriff a little bit thicker here. Torso width, same thing. If you wanted to make it a bit wider, look at the amount of muscle I'm putting on my man here. Woo -hoo. Pumped, buddy. Pumped. Yeah, wonderful that we have a product like this that saves us a round trip into sculpting applications, especially those of us who are not all that familiar or skilled at building these things outside of DAS Studio. It's also great that we get to keep all the other HD adjustments that you have on custom characters because those won't be overwritten. Have a look through all the morphs that are there. I won't be able to show you all of them, but it's wonderful and super, super fun to play around with this waist depth. How exciting. There's additional belly button morphs here. Unbelievable. I can already see you're going to have a lot of fun with Zevo's Shapeshift product. Waist handles. No way. Belly move rotate. Look at that. Waist rotate. I've made him seriously overweight now. Poor Michael. Gotta go on a diet, buddy.